Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the new Subsonics JSX-2. This is a great little VFR aircraft, so if you think that interests you, then stay tuned for today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. You shake my nerves and you rattle my brain. We got the love, got the man you say. You brought my will? So welcome everyone, we are in South Bimini today doing this little review flight and before we get started I thought we would go over just a couple specs of this beautiful little VFR aircraft. The JSX-2 measures 16 feet 6 inches in length, has a wingspan of 18 feet and features a V-tail appendage and retractable tricycle landing gear. It is powered by the PBS TJ100 turbojet that produces up to 290 pounds of thrust. The engine is mounted on the upper portion of the rear fuselage such that as its exhaust travels unencumbered through the V-tail. The JSX-2 cruises at 240 miles per hour and has a top speed of 265. Has a range of 480 miles. The jet can be used as a trainer due to its forgiving nature and it can also be used for aerobatics. With its climb rate of 1600 feet per minute and the ability to pull up to 6 Gs, Regardless of application, this jet truly delivers exhilaration from the moment it rolls down the runway for takeoff till it comes to a standstill after touching back down onto the ground. Now this beautiful little jet also comes with full documentation and now what I'd like to do is show you where you can get that documentation if you are purchasing this from the marketplace. So the first thing that you need to do is open my community folder shortcut right here and it brings up the page here. At the very top here we have the different drop downs to get to that community folder. Well all I want to do is go back to packages and then I can go down to official. Double click on official then you're going to see the one store pop up. Double click on that and here's where it's going to list all the different aircraft in Microsoft Flight Simulator that you have downloaded, of course. Now we're going to go all the way to the bottom. Because the developer's name is YSIM, we can assume that this is going to be all the way at the end of the pack, and it surely is. So we're just going to go down here and highlight it, and then give that a double click. When you open this up, it's going to bring up all the different contents in that folder. The one that we are mainly concerned about right here is the documentations line. If you double click on that and then double click on the manual, it will bring up the beautiful manual that they have created for this aircraft. It's gonna go over some background information, then some specifications, then it's gonna go over the entire cockpit. It's also gonna explain a little bit about how they set up the fuel tanks in this. They had to add an extra one for balance. And it will also go through how to operate the navigation system. Now on this aircraft, it does come with two different navigation systems, so we're going to go over that right now. Oh, by the way, this aircraft does come with multiple different liveries as well, so be sure to check those out after you download the aircraft. By the way, make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button and tick that little bell. You don't want to miss any future videos. And if you liked the video today, smash on that thumbs up button. It really helps us get found by viewers like yourself. And if you have any questions about the aircraft as we're going along, be sure to post those down below in the comments section. All right, so let's take a look around the cockpit here, and it's very, very nicely modeled. And if we turn our head around, we can see the top of that fuel tank right here that we're sitting kind of right on top of. The other cool thing is it has a fully functioning hatch here. So all you have to do is come right over here to the side and tap on this and it will close the canopy for us. That's the right word for it, canopy. Now if we zoom in here on the control panel, we can see all the different switches they have listed here for us. But right down here on the left hand side, there's no information written out as to what these do. It does go over this in the manual. 
This switch on the right here is for our flaps, and the switch over here on the left is to activate our engine igniters. At least that's what I assume it's for. Then we have our pedo heat switches, strobe light, position light, and this really cool switch over here on the right. We're going to show you what that does a little bit later, so make sure to stick around for that. So right here in the center, this is where we're going to adjust our trim while we are in flight. Below that we have the parking brake. Right over here is the emergency parachute. I don't really think that works right now. Most of these buttons here do work. The test, the PBD button, or the PDB button. Over here on the left is our throttle, and this is where we're actually going to start the engine spooling process, as well as our little switch over here to switch between either the MGL avionics package or the touchscreen G3X avionics package. Oh, and I thought this was a really cool touch for landing gear. You can apply this or take this little pin out. I thought that was really cool. So we're going to leave that in for right now. And so now let's go over the startup process of the aircraft. So the first thing we need to do is to come over here on the left and turn on our electric master. Then we have the fuel pump and we also have the engine master and then the instrument master. So to start this thing up is a little bit different than we would normally be used to in any other aircraft. So we're going to turn on the position lights over here on the right. And we're going to come over here to this throttle. Now, if you have this map to a Bravo or another throttle quadrant, you're going to see that you kind of hit this little stopper right there. So to start the engines, you're going to want to push that little stopper pin in and then bring your throttle up over and then sit it back down on that pin. Now, when you do that, you can see here on the avionics package that we have some pressure building in the engine. So let's take a look at this avionics unit while that's doing that a second. We have some different things we can set up, like our smoke, the pilot, the fill the oxygen tank. I don't think that's working yet, or the MGL setup for the avionics unit. We can also switch to the different pages of the avionics package. And here's where we can set our barrow. We have our OBS, our altimeter, and the heading. If we want to get to the transponder, we can tap on this and enter a transponder code. And if we look down below, here is where our radio panel is going to be located. Now, if you're not quite fond of this avionics package and you decide, hey, I want to change that to the touchscreen, again, all you have to do is step over here and just tap on that switch, and now you will have the G3X touchscreen package. Oh, enough babbling. Let's hit the engine igniter switch over here on the left and get this thing fired up. Now in the documentation they do tell you to let this thing warm up for about two minutes and when we go to take off they tell you to turn this PDB button off. I'm not really too sure of what it does so if anybody knows what that's for drop a comment down below and just let us know. So we can get the pedo heat on and our strobe lights on because we're going to be taxiing right onto the runway here. And we're going to remove this little pin here for the landing gear. Right over here, this is where we're going to turn the landing lights on. And now that the engine's running, we can just close this little emergency flap. Hit the parking brakes. We're just going to uh, tap here on the parking brake knob and uh, we are set to go. So now I'm just going to activate the track IR. This way it's going to help me a little bit better to uh, see what's going on here. I really think it's cool that they have all these different gauges here for this avionics unit. I think it really, really makes a difference. Okay, so let's say we get this thing off the ground and do a little flight, and then we can turn on this little trick switch over here on the right. I think I gave it away already in the video, but let's get going. Apply a little throttle, and this thing is really touchy with the throttle. So as soon as you give it a little bit, it is wanting to go. And we're going to make sure we have flaps down. And as you can see here, anywhere I guess between 15 and 30 is going to be good. So I'm sure it probably tells you that in the documentation as well. I really, really like this thing. And if you're a VFR flyer, I, I think this is going to really, really enhance the VFR experience. One, because you can get from point A to B really, really quick. Or 
If you just wanted to go low and slow, you could do that as well too. Now we can enjoy the sights around Bimini. Look at that water, everyone. Wow, this is really, really amazing. Oh, by the way, how did everyone's update go for the new hotfix for Microsoft? This plane is just spectacular. And we're gonna flip the magic switch over here on the right. We are now smoking. The other really cool thing I like is when we're gonna be doing some hard turns, we have a G meter that comes up on the display here. So this way we can make sure that we are not over G in the aircraft. Okay, so that's enough playing around. And I think you get the point of this little aircraft. It is so fun. And it has got such, such a awesome view perspective. Look at this. All the way around the canopy here. It's like flying a fighter jet, but you could use it for VFR. It is so amazing. This thing really, really is awesome. I think you will really, really enjoy this if you happen to pick it up. And again, if you have any questions, post those down below. Well, let's see if we can take this in for a landing. So let's just put down one notch flap and hope we don't tear a wing off. All right, let's see if we can nail the landing and then we can wrap up the video. And that is touchdown. All right, I think that's gonna finish us up. Thanks everybody for joining us on today's episode. If you haven't done so already, make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe and tick that little bell. Smash on that thumbs up button while you're down there. If you have any questions, post those down below in the comments section and be sure to check out our new Facebook group. Link will be down in the description. To all my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.